If you have been dreaming of building a stunning Mega Menu on your WordPress website, then this video is for you. I use the awesome Bloxy Premium features to create a beautiful Mega Menu like the one you are watching with texts, images and links with the assistance of the free Cadence blocks in a Gutenberg environment. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I am Natalie from Sites with Natalie. In this channel, I talk about all things related to WordPress. WordPress websites. The tools I use are the following Bloxy Companion Premium to build up the Mega Menu, the free Cadence Block since I love Cadence Blocks, and WooCommerce, one of the most popular WordPress plugins. So, without further ado, let's begin. The Advanced Menus Pro extension lets you create beautiful interactive menus for your website, allows you to add elements such as content blocks, headings, icons, and much more to your menus. The first step though is make sure that the extension is enabled and active. To do that, navigate over to your Bloxy tab in your WordPress dashboard. Under the Extensions tab, Pro ex Extensions, Activate the Advanced Menu extension by clicking on it. The next step is to make to make up the Mega Menu content. Click now on the Configure button to start the building process. This location is where we will be adding the Mega Menu content. First, we need to create its content. To achieve that, navigate over to Bloxy Content Blocks. The content block is a powerful feature. You can insert any piece of content you might think of dynamically throughout your website. It works with most of the page builders and other Gutenberg blocks such as Cadence blocks among others. This is really handy since you had your custom content without writing any line of code. Click on the Add New, I call it products since I want to place as a submenu of the product menu item. You can label whatever you want. Select the standard type template option and click on the create button. Ok, we are inside the Gutenberg block editor now. There are two relevant parts to take into consideration. For designing the layout, I start from scratch with assistance of the Cadence free blocks. I also need to set up the Bloxy content template settings so that the template is loaded throughout my website. I like to start first to configure the Bloxy content. So click on the Blocks icon at the top. Under the Display Conditions section, make sure you select to include on the entire website. This is the single setting we need to configure. The Advanced Menu extension we just enabled will take care of the rest. Now, I start from scratch designing the first Mega, mega Menu. Switch to Cadence Blocks by clicking on the gear icon at the top. I had in a cadence a row layout 100 this one inside there I place here an info box block I adjust now my layout to the left and now I create my content let's change the the title and my title will be home device I changed my HTML tag to H6, it's fine. I want to show the text. Now I need to convert this one a row cadence block into three ones. So I use the row layout and then I convert it to three columns. Now I duplicate the first one and then I drag it to the right. And this one, I make the same process. I duplicate and then drag it to your right. I tweak some styling options. You don't need to watch the entire design process, right? If you want to learn more on Cadence blocks, search on this channel as I have already created a lot of Cadence themed tutorials. Here is the final result of my first block template. I switched to my Bloxy content settings because I want to set up the visibility conditions. I just want to display this on the desktop, so to disable on iPads or tablets and iPhones, so click on this icon, tablet and iPhone. 
and then update the Bloxy content settings. I go ahead and I create another Bloxy theme content block to be added as another submenu to my menu. So I click on add new, I call it about us and click on create content block. Inside the Gutenberg canvas, I start by setting the Bloxy content block. So under display conditions, I want to include on my entire website and under the visibility, I turn off on tablets and iPhones. Now I switch to the design tab by clicking on this gear icon. I want to create a sub menu when my user hovers over on top of the menu item, it gets focused on particular posts or categories in just one sub menu. Thus, I will create an horizontal sub menu below the menu item showcasing four products. I insert a cadence row and inside my row layout, I want to add a color, a background color. So select the row layout and then I want this color. Cool. So just as you are watching inside the row layout, we have a section block nested. Inside my inner section, I place here another section. Place here some 25 left and right padding and I insert two blocks. Now let's duplicate four times the inner section block. So now select the top level section. Since this has the flex aligned setting, I want to set it as horizontal. This inner block direction, it determines the main axis direction. Thus, we are defining the flex items direction in the flex container. The justify content is a sub property of the flexible blocks layout. It defines the alignment along the main axis. It also helps to distribute extra free space left over when either all of the flex items are on a line are inflexible. So I set my justify content to space between and the wrap content to no wrap. By the way, I have already created a video tutorial about this topic. Check it out to learn more about this interesting Flexbox topic. So this is the final result. And now it's time to insert inside the menu. So come over to WordPress menu dashboard. It's here I will insert the two created content element blocks that I have just created to display instead of the regular menu. Select the menu. As you are watching, the menu structure has already been created. These five items are my menu items. On the front end, it looks like this. Click on the top level product item. You will notice a menu item setting below. Click on it. For this top level menu item, you will enable the mega menu settings. I select a one column layout and we also have these very useful options to remove the item label and to turn off the label link. Under the drop down width, Choose the content width. This is what we are looking for. You can also choose these handy options to go full width or custom width. In the, in the design tab, I define the heading color to black and the column divider to this color. Save your settings. You need to save this twice. Now close this button and save the changes here. Now to populate the drop down submenu item, open up the custom links option. In the URL, insert an hashtag. And for the link text, insert the text you desire. For me, it's items for you. To conclude the custom link operation, click on the add to menu button. Next, navigate over to the parent menu item. I want to place it here. I drag it here. So it creates a hierarchy below the product menu item. Now expand the items for you. Click on the menu item settings. 
the child item as a somewhat different panel. We need to select the content type. So under the content type, we have three options, but we are looking for the content block. So now I am going to determine and specify the content element to be displayed instead of the regular menu item. So I, from here, I select products. On the item label, you can enable or disable. It makes more sense to disable. So save twice and let's preview on the front end. Refresh it because we have just placed new content. There it is, the first menu item is complete and we achieve what we wanted. Now let's go to the second one. The process is very similar to the previous one. I want to populate the about as drop down. Open up the custom links option. In the URL, I insert an hashtag and the link text is test. And then head to menu. Now drag the text to the about. Right now, the test item is a child item to the about us menu item. Select the about us menu item settings, one column content width, item label enabled and save the settings. Then click on the text menu item, menu item settings, content block is enabled, select the content block, you select your content element label, item label is enabled and save the settings twice. Refresh and let's check out on the front end what we have done so far. So this is my website. As the user overs on top of it, it gets this beautiful mega menu and the same goes to the about menu item. To recap, first we created the content of the submenus using the content blocks feature. Secondly, we design it with the free cadence blocks. Then inside the menus dashboard we enabled on both parent and child items the mega menu specifying the content to be displayed instead of the WordPress regular menu. I really hope this video has been helpful to you on this topic. Bloxy has this great feature you can take advantage of. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel to support me. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.